game. EA Sports! If it's in the game, it's in the game! It's in the game! EA Sports! It's in the game! NCAA Football 2003. We're coming to you live from UB Stadium in Buffalo, New York. And this is just freezing cold weather for tonight's game between the Virginia Tech Hokies and the Buffalo Bulls. And here come the Bulls. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. The Hokies come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Well, I think you're right. I think this one's going to be a blowout. Virginia Tech is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Yep, no question, Kirk. Virginia Tech has a huge advantage in one particular area, the running game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish and demoralize this defense. Big win in this one. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And it's a short kickoff. Number 12 takes it at the 12. Juke move. Jets the tackler. Kickoff return 23 yards. Number 12 on the return. The option might be a good call here. Just don't turn the ball over on a careless pitch. They'll go to work at the 34. The Hokies line up in an eye formation. Number 14. Options out. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Three yards there on the play. I'd use my speed to run the ball to the outside here. Second and seven. Ball on their own 37. The Hokies line up in the power eye formation. Number 14, back to pass, and it's knocked away. 
The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. Number 14, back to throw. Fires across the middle. Little shake and bake move. Inside the 30. Number 35 with a takedown at the 23-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First and 10, ball on the 23. Virginia Tech lines up in the power eye set. Number 14 on the option. They'll make the sack. They put the pressure on, and it paid off. Well, his protection just simply broke down, and if that continues, this quarterback's going to have a long day. I just let the players go out there and have some right. fun here. Second down and 14. Fifth play of this drive coming up. Five. Buffalo going with a three-man front. Five. Number 14 steps back to pass. Looks, rolling out to the left side. He goes downtown. Well, he was looking to the end zone on that one. I'll tell you what, the defense was not about to let him score there. What I do is throw it right here. You got to give your players a chance to make the play and make the first down. Virginia Tech comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Rifles it over the middle. And it's knocked down. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. It's fourth down and 14. Ball on the 27-yard line. They're going to try a long field goal here. Under heavy pressure. He unloads it. Makes a move. They decided that the field goal points weren't enough, apparently. And it bit them <laughs> right in the backside. You got to go for the points this early in the game. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. 4-3 defense. Number seven gives it up the middle. Number 31 brings him down at the 27-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 27. The Hokies use a four-man front here. Pitch left. Number 31 brings him down for a loss. Nice play by the linebacker. Third and 11, ball on the 23-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out in a 4-3. Set. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Back to pass. He's looking. Heaves a long one down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. It's fourth down and 11 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number two takes it at the 45. He's hit and got away. And that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple things. Some good blocks, but also the ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. I like throwing a ball here. It makes the defense think they have to stop the run and or the pass. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. There's a play fake. Let's it go. And he's taken down at the 17. A good play to the tight end that time. Yeah, and this is a play that we saw in practice the other day over and over again. And as a coach, you like it when all that practice pays off and your players execute in the game like they did all week in practice. Good job. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Swatted away. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. 
Second and ten. Ball on the 17. They come out with four linebackers. Number 14 fakes a handoff. Number 35 picks it off. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This cornerback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. Buffalo comes out in the shotgun. Here's an option right side. Number 17 brings him down for a loss. See, this is how you defend the option. They do a good job of containing, and the quarterback had nowhere to go but to go down. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 7 gives it up the middle. Number 95 with a takedown at the 21. Gain of a yard by the fullback. Third and 9. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Bull come out the shotgun. He throws it. Number 20 has it. Brought down at the 37. And they get the first down. That is unbelievable. Wow, Kirk, this quarterback's showing some big-time nerves out there. Third and long, it's just like first and 10 to this guy. Yeah, you're right. A lot of poise from this young man. First and 10. This is the fifth play of this drive. Defense lines up in a 4-3. Number seven drops back, throws it out there, and it falls incomplete. Number 28, the intended receiver on the play. It's second down and ten to go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Buffalo comes out with two tight ends. Pitch is right. And they make the stop at the 48. Nice pickup on that run. Here's a perfect example of running the toss play. Good pitch, good catch, and blocking was good enough up front to spring this tailback to a monster game. It's first and 10. This is the seventh play of this drive. Four man front by the defense. Number 28 on the give. Tackle at the 50 yard line. They'll get two on that one. Second and eight coming up here. Eighth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls with four receivers. Back to pass. He steps up. Incomplete pass. Not much a receiver could do that time. You're right. Nice defensive play. And the key here is the defender's able to avoid pass interference. It's third down and eight to go. Ball right around midfield. Four-man front by the defense. Number seven, back to pass. Complete. He's at the 40. Inside the 20, tries to juke, and he's tackled at the nine. And here's another look at the pass, guys. And Brad, here I think the defense has to be careful. They're giving the receiver too much room to catch the ball and make a play after the catch. They need to play a little bit tighter out there. And that's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. We are ready to start quarter number two. Virginia Tech comes out in a 4-3. They hand it off. Shakes off a tackle. Touchdown. Holding. Holding. On the offense. On the offense. Ten yard Ten penalty. penalty. Still first down. down. Ball inside the five, ball on the 19. Buffalo goes with the ace set here. Set, cut. Number seven, back to throw. Looking, he passes it, and it's caught. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. A gain of one. Three. 
That brings up second and goal. 11th second play of this drive coming up. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Hokies line up in a 4-3. Number 28 on the inside handoff. Number 31 brings him down at the 11. About seven yards on that carry. Third down now and goal to go. This is the 12th play of this drive. Buffalo in a four wide set. He lets it go, and it's incomplete. I think the pressure forced him to get rid of the ball there, guys. Yeah, great job here by the defense, getting a good surge up front, getting right into the quarterback's face. That'll bring up a fourth and goal, ball on the 11. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it's through the upright. Buffalo is ready to kick it away. Kicks it off. Number two, fields it at the 13. They'll start this drive at the 27. High formation here. Drops back to pass. Let's it fly. Complete. The pass good for maybe seven yards. The key here is making sure the offensive line gives the quarterback plenty of time to find the open receiver. Buffalo comes out in a 3-4. He drops back. Lobs this one over the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. In this short yard situation, you got to make sure not to pitch the ball unless you absolutely have to. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 34. Four man front by the defense. Number 14 drops to throw. He unloads it. And it's caught. Brought down at the 47. The wide receiver picks up good yardage that time. It's first and 10, ball on the 47. 4-3 defense. Number 14 still has it. He lofts this one over the middle. Complete. Number 12 with a takedown at the 24-yard line. The tight end with a nice catch there. First and 10, fifth play of this drive coming up. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Back to pass. He's under pressure. Rifles it right side. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. Whoa, I like this play. Now you get the fullback into the passing game, and the defense has really got their hands full. It's second down and 10 to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls come out into 34 defense. 43, on handoff, sheds that one. Number 12, brings him down at the 11 yard line. And the fullback made him pay big time on that little run. <laughs> Listen, there was nothing little about that run, my friend. No joke, he busted through there for some nice, nice yardage. First and 10, this is the seventh play of this drive. Buffalo, going with a three-man front. Hand off up the middle. He jukes. Number 50 with a takedown at the 10. A one-yard gain on the play. Number 22 lines up in the deep back, eye formation. Number 14 hands off right side, and down he goes at the five yard line. Holding, holding on the offense. 
10 yards, 10 yards and response to foul, foul. Still, still second, second down. down. Second and long, ball on the 19. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Drop back to pass. Let's it go. And he can't make the catch. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 19 yard line. Number 22 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He's looking for his man. Incomplete pass. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. Here, the quarterback just overshot his target. Fourth and a bunch coming up here. Ball on the 19. Number 49 is lined up for the kick. The kick is up, and it's wide left, no good. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. Number seven drops back to pass. He throws it, and it's caught. Number six brings him down at the 30. The Bulls call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. It's second and inches. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Bulls set up in the gun. Set. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Hut, hut. Back to pass. Throws it out there, and he can't hang on to it. The pass, the pass falls, falls incomplete. incomplete. Number, Number 81, 81. The, intended the intended receiver, receiver on the play. On the play. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on their own 30. Buffalo comes out with an eye formation. Number seven steps back to pass. Complete. There's a penalty on the play. Number six tackles him for a loss on the play. We've got an inverted brace mask, mask, mask on the defense. On the defense. Five yard Five penalty. penalty. First down. First down. First and ten, ball on the 35. Number seven with four wide receivers. He passes it, picked off. Number 79 with a takedown at the 23. Holding, Holding. on the offense. On the offense. The penalty is declined. declined. First down. First down. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Number 14 fakes a handoff. He lets it go. Number 86 with a catch. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. Virginia Tech comes out with an eye formation. Number 14 gives it up the middle, and he's in there. Touchdown. And guys, what do you think of that touchdown run? Boy, I really like the way the line made room for this guy to run through. And I like the way he used his vision there to run through the hole. This offense is really clicking right now. And he hits the PAT. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Virginia Tech, seven. Buffalo, three. Virginia Tech to kick. It's a low line drive. This one's pretty short. Number 84 takes it to 12. They'll go to work at the 30. Buffalo sets up in the eye. Number seven with a nice play fake. 
Number 70 comes away with a sack. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. Number seven drops to throw. And it falls incomplete. The pass falls falls incomplete. incomplete. Number 20, Number 20 the, intended the intended receiver, receiver on the play. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 27. The Hokies use a four-man front here. On the ground, up the middle. He tries to spin. He's to the 40. Crosses midfield to the 40. Number two brings him down at the 28. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Virginia Tech 7, Buffalo 3. Virginia Tech will be kicking off to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 81 fields it in the end zone. They'll take over at the 17-yard line. Defense lines up in a 4-3. First and five, ball on the 22-yard line. They come out with a big set. Number seven gives it up the middle. They'll bring him down at the 25. A pickup of about three. Second and two. Ball on their own 25. Four three defense. Number seven drops back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's knocked down. And the linebacker makes a good defensive play. The thing I like about this play is he made the play without getting pass interference. This is a good football player. The Hokies line up in a 4-3. Number seven, options out. And they make the stop at the 27. And that's three and out. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you deserve a pat on the back. It is fourth down and inches. Ball on their own 27. Number 11, back to punt. Number two, back to return. Number two, fields it at the 41. A little juke. Woo! There was nothing but green in front of him. That was a touchdown saving tackle. No doubt about it. That should have been six. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number 22 lines up in a deep back, eye formation. Drops back to pass. He unloads it, and it's caught. That's a seven-yard gain. With the reception, seven-yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up, ball on the 27. Number 22 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back, steps up, lets it go. Incomplete pass. The wide receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. And you know what? No one could have caught up to that one. He just misfired it. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 27-yard line. The Bulls line up in a 3-4. Hand off up the middle. He jukes him. Tackle at the 19-yard line. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. First and 10. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. The Hokies line up in an I formation. Number 14 drops back. He's looking for his man. Number 86 drops the ball. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. 
Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Buffalo comes out in a 4-3. Duke move. Number 29 with a takedown at the 11-yard line. That's a gain of eight. It's third down and two to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Buffalo lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number 22 takes a handoff. There's a missed tackle. And he's taken down at the two-yard line. And the tailback picks up great yardage on the run. How many times did we see him run that play in practice this week? Oh, a thousand times. And it was just as successful then as it is right now. Great. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Stop behind the line. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. Great. They set up in an eye down by the goal line. Watch for play action on this one. the middle. Little shake and bake move. Touchdown Hokies. Second touchdown there by the running back. And you could tell he really wanted to get in on that one. Yeah, he showed a lot of determination and heart on that run. That's a nice touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter. And the score, Virginia Tech 14, Buffalo 3. Virginia Tech to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 84 takes it at the 4. Nowhere to go on that return, Kirk. Well, Brad, two things here. You need to do a better job of blocking up front, but also you need to get the ball and just attack. Don't dance around and let the coverage swarm all over you. They'll start this drive at the 17-yard line. Virginia Tech comes out of the 4-3. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Defensive Lima was in the backfield on that one. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 16. The Hokies put four men up front. Number seven gives it up the middle. And the offense will recover. Looks like the offense has recovered the ball. It's always a relief when you see one of your teammates come up with a football. And that halfback has to be especially happy. He's the one who coughed it up in the first place. Third and 14. Ball on the 13. Buffalo lines up in a shotgun set. Number seven back to pass. He throws it. Number 84 makes the catch. He spins. There's a stiff arm. Number two brings him down at the 39-yard line. Your reaction to that pass play, Coach? Well, anytime you get a first down, you're happy. But in this case, you get a first down and then a bunch of yards on top of that? Ha! Huh, you're ecstatic. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. The Bulls set up in the gun. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Fires a bullet over the middle. Incomplete pass. Number 81. The intended receiver on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Hokies come out in a 4 3. Number 28 hits it on a pitch. Number six with a takedown at the 40-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Virginia Tech 14, Buffalo 3.
And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Third and nine. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls line up in an I formation. Number seven steps back to pass. Throws it out there. Complete. Breaks one. Number two brings him down at the 44. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. First and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. The Hokies use a four-man front here. Drops back to pass. Rolling out to the right side. And he throws it away. And there was a lot of pressure on the quarterback there. Yeah, he had to get rid of it in a hurry, and that's why his pass was off. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. Pitch left. And they hit him in the backfield. So he's tackled for a loss by the linebacker. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 45. Number seven lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He passes it. Number six bats it down. The linebacker managed to break that one up. Fourth down, 11. Ball on the 45. Let's see if they can convert. Back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left. Brought down at the 35-yard line. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll get the ball here at the 35. The Hokies go with the I formation. Makes a move. That'll be a gain of five. The ball carrier, five yard gain on the play. It's second down and five to go. Ball on their own 40. The Bulls line up in a 4-3. On the ground, up the middle. He's at midfield. And he's tackled at the 42. How about the job of this offensive line, guys? Boy, the hog mollies up front are demoralizing the defense. It's tough when you're tired. You're losing. You're being dominated physically. I don't know how long they can keep this up. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Virginia Tech sets up in the eye. Number 14, hands off to the left. Tries to shoot, and they make the stop at the 29-yard line. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. It's first and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. The Hokies line up in an eye formation. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. They keep it on the ground, and the halfback gets about seven yards. Second and three. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Bulls come out in a 34 defense. Number 22 takes the handoff, and he's taken down at the 18-yard line. They get a decent gain on that one. The reason why this play worked is because they sold the defense into thinking they were going one way, then they went the other way. It's first and 10. They're inside the 20. They come out with four linebackers. Number 14 gives it up the middle, and he's tackled at the 17. Gain of a yard by the fullback. The Bulls are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining.
It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 17. Defense lines up. Eight men in the box. Play action. He lets it go. He's in for the touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Virginia Tech 21, Buffalo 3. Virginia Tech lines up for the kickoff. Number 84 and number 81 back to return. Kicks it deep. Number 81 fields it in the end zone. They'll go to work at the 23. First and 10. Ball, Ball on the 23-yard line. line. The Hokies put four men up front. <laughs> Number seven, back to throw. And it's caught. That ball was thrown high. Yeah, but this receiver knew he could jump up and get it. Great play. It's second down and two to go. Ball on their own 31. The Hokies use a four-man front here. Number seven drops to throw, lets it fly, and they couldn't hook up on that one. What happened there, Kirk? Well, as a quarterback, you usually want to put the ball in front of the receiver so he can catch it in stride. Here he just put it a little bit too far in front. The Hokies line up in a 4-3. Drops back to pass. He unloads it. Complete. Number two with a takedown at the 49-yard line. A big gain on the completion. Yeah, they got a big game here, but I question the play calling in this situation. You can't expect to be successful calling the same play over and over again. I think it's a matter of having the confidence in your offense and saying, hey, we're going to throw the ball. Now come up and stop us if you can. Number six brings him down at the 40. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle here. He drops back. Let's it go. Batted away. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. Third and one coming up on this play. This is the sixth play of this drive. Virginia Tech comes out in a 4-3. He's looking for his man. Tipped away. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. Do or die time. The counter. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And a big run there on fourth down. Brad, this is what impresses me about this team. It's fourth down, and you know what's coming. We're running right at you. Try it, stop us. Number seven drops back to pass. Going deep. They call it out of bounds, no catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. Second and 10, ninth play of this drive coming up. Virginia Tech lines up defensively in a 4-3. Drops back to pass, he throws it. Number 82, hangs on to it. Buffalo takes a timeout and they'll have one timeout left. Third and four. This is the 10th play of this drive. They come out in a five wide set. He drops back, throws it out there, and it's knocked away. The safety got in there at the last minute. Boy, that's a great job of preventing the score here. He got in great position and made a big time play on the ball. It's fourth down, four yards to go. Ball on the 12. Easy decision, you gotta go for it here. Seven drops back. Number 88 has it, and he's got the touchdown and a nice connection for the score, Coach. Yep, yep, yep. The defense can forget about it.
Number 28, the ball carrier, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Great stop there by the defense, stopping that run. Yeah, you know, you just gave up a touchdown, and you know they're going to go for two. Great job of recovering and not allowing them to get that extra two points. Here goes nothing. There's no quitting out there, that's for sure. Hey, these kids don't understand the word. They'll take over at the 48-yard line. The Hokies put four men up front. Put hot. Put hot. Put hot. Number seven steps back to pass. He passes it, and it's caught. Number 45 with a takedown at the 44. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Ah, uh, rub some dirt on it, kid. Get back in the game where you belong. It's second down and two to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Buffalo lines up in a shotgun set. He lets it go. Number six brings him down at the 38. It's first and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. They line up in a double tight set. Number seven back to throw. Let's it fly. It falls incomplete. I think he was feeling a lot of pressure there, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's lucky he got rid of that ball when he did because they were coming. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number seven is back in the gun. Number seven drops to throw. He unloads it. Complete. Number 31 with a takedown at the 10-yard line. The Bulls call for a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. Virginia Tech comes out in a 4-3. Number seven drops back to pass. And the wideout hauled it in for the score. Boy, the quarterback really put that one on the money, didn't he? And he tacks on the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Buffalo 16, Virginia Tech 21. Buffalo lined up for the onside kick. Here it goes. And that's pretty much going to do it. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? This is just a tough, tough loss to take. Buffalo walks away from this game utterly disappointed because they nearly pulled off one of the biggest upsets in school history. But you know what? I think after the initial hurt wears off, these guys will be proud of the way they played today. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2003. And once again, our final score in this one, Virginia Tech 21. Buffalo 16. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.